Hey besties, it's your girl Jenny, and today we're testing out my new Dyson Airwrap. So there she is. She is so beautiful in this nice navy blue box they have her in this time. The last one was, I think it was a tan caramel color almost. I've been using my little baby. Let's just call her Miss Dyson over here. I've been using her for the last like two weeks ever since it came out. And I have to tell you a little backstory. <laughs> I used my friend's Airwrap like for the first time and immediately immediately fell in love. It just made my life so much easier just because of like my hair is just like so thick and it's just not cooperative and for like a device to not use as much heat damage and to just take off so much time and like doing blowouts I had to go get it for myself and it's been about two weeks like I said so I feel like I know the ins and outs of my new Dyson so uh, without much chit chat let's just get straight into the video of how to use the Dyson Airwrap this is gonna be a complete ultimate guide to the new Dyson Airwrap for thick blowouts this is how the whole box looks like so this is the box as you can see it's pretty much the same as the old one I will link a video that I watched kind of comparing the two different Dysons but I also have shorts uploaded of the first time I used the last Dyson so if you guys want to check that out go do so anyways in this box you'll see there are little cubbies. I'll start off with the different attachments that are in this. So unlike the previous generation of the Dyson Airwraps, this is finally fixed. So what I mean by fixed is the previous generation, like they didn't have this part right here. So it kind of made it really difficult sometimes and kind of annoying because you would have to, every time you want to wrap one side of your hair and you want to switch to the other side, you have to go take it off and on and now it's just so easy to just like you know do that you have two sizes this is the long package it comes in two sizes 1.2 inches versus 1.6 inches i use both different parts of my hair but we'll get back to that later and the same thing on the dyson is the round brush i only really use this to do my bang area and i do know that the old dyson items you can use on the new ones and vice versa so they make that part nice because dollars every year for a hair tool is a little bit extreme okay and then here are the two brushes i believe this is the firming brush and it moves around like this and this is the smoothing brush which i use very often and apparently it's about the same as the last version and the previous version also had this blow dryer attachment but now they made it so it's just one attachment this is the newest smoothing slash blow dry attachment if you have it closed then you can just use both sides to just run this down your hair and it will smooth it out i will show you guys when we get started but if you guys want to just use it as a blow dryer you can just open it up like this and then the airflow will come out and then you could just use this as a blow dryer so i'm gonna prepare my hair so we can start using everything and my hair is pretty damp right now there's a lot of water in there still but it's like kind of drying out as you guys can see my hair is super thick you can already start seeing the frizz when i use the air up i make sure to only use really light liquids for my hair so i don't really use any like heavy creams unless they're like stylers because your hair is going to be weighed down so this one is by virtue labs they are available on sephora and everything and everything's going to be linked down below but this is a frizz block smoothing spray so it just kind of helps control all this frizz and protects your hair as well and as you guys can see it's like super light so you want to use hair products even though you don't use this like just use a really light hair product so it doesn't weigh your hair down i'm going to blow dry my hair a little bit and i'm going to add this little styler to my hair when my hair is a little more dry so i'm just going to attach this smoothing tool and then we're not going to completely dry out my hair we're just going to make it a little more dry especially the root area so as you guys can see this tool is the same as the other one the filter is right here power heat setting and then also the power of the air apparently this tool is supposed to be way stronger than the last one better technology i suppose okay and then when my hair is a little more dry like this i want the ends to be slightly more wet than the top of my hair so that i could curl better i'm just going to use a little bit more of the spray first my hair feels a little bit dry and then we're just gonna comb it out just using my t3 
white comb. You guys know, besides Dyson, E3 is probably one of my favorite hair tools. I mean, really nice accessories to go along with your hair tools. If you guys were interested in that. Okay, so I brushed it out and I'm gonna be using this styling cream. I figure just adding that before the hairspray really locks my curls in. So we're just gonna use amount smaller than a quarter but more than a pea size what i like to say and i'm just gonna use this on the bottom mostly not really on the roots but good thing about this cream is if you want it to stop here you can just leave it to air dry and it will air dry but if you want it to be fully smooth and more controlled just use some heat on your hair to get the full effect of the product anyways just gonna remove it and make sure when you're unlocking it to only hold it from the top because the top doesn't get hot but then every part else does but let me just show you the smoothing part of it on a lower heat so i could just show you how it looks like And as you guys can see, I kind of messed up at the last part, but a lot of my static frizz kind of controlled already, and I don't have to use any wax, and it's just my natural hair. And I love that. But after that, I like to use my smoothing brush just to kind of get all the frizz out of it before we start curling our hair, so it's just super smooth. I feel like this part really helps with the smoothness of frizzy and thick hair. And then because this part of the process makes your hair super smooth but also dry really fast, we're just going to add a little bit more water on our ends here. I know this is the Tire 28 spray but I actually used it all so I didn't spray. It's just water. Reuse, reduce, recycle. Okay, so after it's all damp again, we're just gonna section our hair off now. So I don't really like to make too many sections to my hair because I feel like the curls kind of come out not that cute. So I'm just gonna section it off into two parts where my front layers hit and then where the back layers start. So it's just easier to curl everything quickly. So, um, let's start. So the bottoms, since I don't really want them to curl, then I want my hair a little bit longer as well. We're just gonna use the bigger barrel and then just put it to the correct side. You can just play with it. Let's get on to it. I really like the fact that this could also curl a huge chunk of sections as well. But I feel like if you do that, the curls are not gonna stay as much. Look how cool that was. Okay, and then when you just take it off, it literally looks like this. Anyways, we're just gonna do this side. And I know some people keep it up in rollers, but I just kind of twist it with my fingers. And it's fine. You don't need to go do with the rollers and all that. Anyways, look at these effortless curl. If you want them to be a little bit more curled, I would suggest using the skinnier one. But if you're happy with like just a little bit of a curl because that's what you want for a blowout, just use the bigger one. And as always, you're more than welcome to go do more sections of your hair. We're just gonna let that sit and then just do the other side. And let me just show you how I spray it. To so switch to the other side, make sure it's just real easy. I don't know why Dyson did didn't do that before. This is how each side looks. It looks so gorgeous. I'm just gonna get a hairspray before I put down the next section of my hair just so it stays. Air wrap curls are very notorious for not staying. I'm just gonna go ahead and just roll up my fingers. This is how the bottom part looks like. We're gonna take down the next section. And as you can see, it kind of gets complicated for me because the amount of my hair plus all these layers from my wolf cut makes curling my hair not the best thing to do. So we're just gonna take that third layer of my hair and then we're gonna just section that baby off. We're gonna get back to making this part look like this. So with that, because I still only want like the little curls right here, but I think we can still do that. Let's just test this one out for you guys. As you guys can see, this one brings you more like ringlet George Washington curls. But the best thing about those is that just means that your curl is just more formed. I just like to ring it around my finger if it's like not too hot, kind of like this. 
And when you take it out, it's just more put together And then it's just gonna come off later anyway So just get them real tightened <laughs> Look how beautiful it comes out And you can just kind of comb it out as well And it just gives you that like big blowout look I like what I actually really like about the Dyson Airwrap is that the whole process of like washing my hair, curling my hair, drying my hair takes like two to three hours almost, you know? Especially when you're curling your hair from wet hair. But this Dyson blow dryer, Dyson Airwrap kind of cuts the time down by like a lot. I think I could do my whole hair in like 30 minutes. Insane considering I had wet hair. We're gonna just do this other side. So cool. Every time it comes out, I'm like shit every time so. Okay, yeah, now when you brush it out with your ears, it just looks like this. It just, just looks so good, guys. <laughs> and I'm spraying it in layers just because I know since if you have really thick hair, it's not going to penetrate through your top layers. Just making sure every layer that we curl is kind of for. Let's just do the last section of our hair. This part is the most annoying part to me. I'm fine where my hair is section off. We're not gonna do the bangs, so don't worry about that right now. We're gonna do it in a little bit after we just curl the top pieces of our hair. As you can see, my top pieces kind of start really short. It just starts like kind of from here. So you just have to be mindful of that because this part is real annoying. So make sure you use the thin one. So I basically do all of the sections besides like my immediate middle pieces because we're gonna do that with a round brush But we're just gonna decide and then finish it off So we're just gonna have this kind of settle down before we spray it But we're just gonna get where our bangs start Since they're kind of short, I'd like to section it off into two pieces So we're just gonna attach this. I look so ridiculous right now okay, we're gonna attach the round brush attachment and then we're just gonna grab the middle of like where we sectioned our hair and we're just gonna grab this part and I like to flip it outward so we don't create like a front thing situation this gets hot so I put it on the cool setting right after and then just take it off and it gives you this baby right here we're gonna do the other side and I'll fix it for you so it doesn't look all crazy same thing you're gonna want to section it, curl it like this, okay? Now that you have both of your bangs, as you can see, it's pretty voluminous. So with this, you want to spray your hair first so you don't lose this curl. Okay, and when your hair is all sprayed and marvelous, make sure that you don't really use like a crunchy, too crunchy of a hairspray. Your curls are not gonna feel that nice. But this one is perfect because it just kind of gives you like a hold but not too like aggressively, if that makes sense. Anyways, my bangs kind of get annoying. So um, I like to just kind of keep them up like this and then I just brush out my hair as well with my fingers. That's pretty much how I use my Dyson Airwrap and it creates this like really beautiful voluminous blowout that's like super easy. It's so much less time than like traditional blowout method. Like as you guys can see with my hair all blown out like this, my hair is thick with like three seams, you know? So just having to do each section, especially when you're going from wet hair to curled hair, just so much work. My arms hurt, my neck hurts, my wrist hurts. Literally, it's just not the best. So so I thought investing in this was perfect for me Even though it is like $600 I believe I feel like it's gonna save me so much more time in the end And <laughs> it's her content That's what I like to tell myself for every single purchase I buy for this channel But a little secret tip I also have is using a comb I don't know where my other one is But not a white tooth comb But I'm just gonna use this because I don't know where the soft bristle curl comb is But I'm just gonna brush it out And it's just gonna give you like a softer hold And because we hairsprayed it it's totally fine to do so and you're not going to break up the curl too much I'll just be careful about the bangs though because we didn't hairspray like as aggressively as other parts Yeah, you brush your hair out It's like a trick I learned from a YouTube video for old Hollywood glamorous curls Anyways, this is basically what I get with my Dyson hair wrap Thank you guys so much for watching this video Let me just marvel at my hair for a little 
little bit longer because it's just so pretty. Literally, you will not see me with non blowout tid hair this summer. I don't know if that's a word. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and trusting me to learn about the new Dyson Airwrap. Like I said, I am such a fangirl of Dyson, especially their Airwrap. Like, it's the best hair tool I've ever used. The curls stay if you know how to kind of do your hair. But make sure to follow me on all my other social media platforms to just know more about the Dyson. If you have any other questions, just ask me on there or the comments below. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!